Yeah, look, in terms of the uh, match versus uh, JDR this weekend, obviously, it's a start of the league, first game of the season. A lot of it is expected, especially that we're playing against our rivals. JDR has been always, you know, one of the teams that when we, we, we play against, it's always a difficult encounter uh, for a couple of reasons. One being that it's a team that is nearby uh, our, 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 our training ground. Uh, two, the owner himself is also has a sort of some relation uh, with the uh, technical team, especially myself, and also some of the management uh, uh, team within our club. And, uh, you know, uh, our coach himself, uh, he has coached uh, 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 against JDR in the, in the SAB league before. The owner and coach of JTR, Mr. Ndicheni Namasisi, there has been always a competition between my coach and him. So there's always that uh, expectation that uh, uh, everyone wants to win. Uh, my coach wants to win, uh, uh, Namasis in terms of JDR wants to win. Um, uh, look, uh, uh, this fixture always brings the expectation, always lives up to it and always uh, produce one of the best games in, 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 the, in, the, in the NFD. Uh, which personally I think it deserves to be televised every time we play against them. I think I think it's a good value for the for the uh, for the product for the league I think and for the viewers as well. Yeah, yeah, we we expecting fireworks. Yeah, yeah look, the di the biggest difference between the two teams uh, basically, uh, as you've mentioned, is the preparation. Um, I think we prepared better. Um, I've, I follow them a lot, you know, uh, I talk to the owner and the coach uh, a lot. I, I know we started better off in terms of preparation, no disruptions, uh, started on time. And uh, not necessarily that they did not prepare well, I'm saying compared to ourselves, if you check, we played uh, 11 training matches in the preparation. Uh, we've won uh, nine matches, we've drawn two. In 90 minutes we've never lost a match except that we lost on penalties in the, in the, in the, in the training match against uh, Skukune where it was a sort of a mini tournament. Um, you look again in terms of the playing personnel, the difference is there. Uh, both teams they've released almost 18, 17 players. Uh, we're in the rebuilding phase, both of us. But uh, the difference is these players, they've been together for the longest time since they got promoted in the, uh, from the ABC to the National First Division, which is the late championship uh, league. Uh, uh, he has released a lot of those players, which he, he had them for a very long time, meaning the, the combination has broken. Um, with us, yes, we've released uh, 17 to 18 players, uh, including the two players that we've sold as a club and I, I believe that it won't affect us that much because we are going into a different dimension of uh, type of play compared to the way we played last season which the players we got right now started with the process and they've, 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 they've mastered it well so far we are happy the preparation has been good while JDR uh, you know he's got a crop of uh, players that are new which it might take a bit of time for them to, 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 to acclimatize. But yeah, I would say that's the biggest, that's the biggest uh, difference on my side. Look, the, the pressure is always there. I would say, <coughs> uh, looking at the fact that the, both teams, the players, are, they have a majority of the squad coming in now, um, maybe a couple of them might not understand the importance of the debut or how serious it is uh, it's gonna be their first and uh, obviously from the both uh, technical staff members the grudge is always there you, you, you know they, they there's a lot uh, on stake the breaking rights the three points on stake and uh, also the beginning of the season uh, one would love to start well and uh, which is one thing that is gonna make it more difficult because i know uh, namasis hates uh, losing against tax especially to ourselves as uh, uh, people who are more closer to him who always talk to him so it's always you know the breaking right on the uh, 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 on top of the chair and um, but over and uh, above i think the three points is quite important for us 
and uh, yeah the pressure will always be there but in particular the pressure is on us as a technical team uh, we want to relieve the pressure from the players we don't want them to have pressure we want them to go out there and uh, display what we have been preparing throughout the season it's a good thing that uh, most of, of, of our players are new and uh, there won't be much pressure from our side and uh, uh, they are just going to experience it for the first time and and maybe in the next derby there will be a pressure when we play them in the second round but for now i think they will be more relaxed more focused which is a good thing it's a plus on our side i think we thus there have been a couple of players coming up you know uh, we brought in a couple of new strikers that are up all of them if i were to tell you now uh, each scored uh, an average of two goals and uh, others scored three others scored four others scored five but the good part is that the all our strikers have been outstanding Kamu, your 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 makuwe as well has been with us last season your eto simnikiwe your uh, mukwena uh, the young boy uh, you know uh, we call him trevor i think he, they both come from an amateur league but uh, the, the 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 rate uh, uh, at which they are scoring i i think if you check uh trevor came from Whitbank shepherds he scored 13 games in 15 matches in the abc motipe in mpomalanga abc you look at kamu at the uh, uh, mangaung team and the abc in free state he scored 10 goals in in in, in 16 matches you look at the uh, eto from sundowns simnikiwe who has scored eight goals in ten matches? So, so, so those those boys, you know, they're hungry, they quick, they 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 are clinical finishers. I think, oh, obviously, you look at the experience and say, who can also carry the team? Uh, we have the likes of jo, uh, John Chabalala. We have uh, the likes of uh, obviously Julius Samuel Mbiro, one of uh, players always when we play against JDR, he's always I know he's a thorn to 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 the chain in uh, masses and the team. Um, uh, the plan is always around him, but he, you know, Messi will always hurt you even when you watch him uh, 24 7 every day. So, I think Mbiro is that type of a player that he, it's, it, it's unstoppable, you know, um, he's always on top of his going. But uh, I would single out uh, those players, but the rest of the players as well, you look at uh, our wingers, they've been on, uh, on fire. Uh, I know JDR, they've got the strongest wingers and individualistic players. And uh, they have a, a, a center back pair, which have been there for quite a long time. I think the combination will be good. We know them. We know their weakness. We know their strength. Uh, I think I don't think that is a problem. Um, yeah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, but you look also in their striking department. They are a bit thin. Uh, I know they've brought in a Zimbabwean striker, a Zimbabwean winger, which, uh, according to my information, has been uh, one of the uh, outstanding player on their side. Which. Uh, we we are to see it if if it's good enough against us we'll uh, we'll we'll tell on the day but uh, we are prepared i think the homework is uh, clearly uh, outlined and we uh, 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 we are ready to to submit the assignment and uh, hopefully to get all the ticks all 100 percent marks and we'll come back with the points of the prediction i will i would lately i don't want to break about it but uh, i think uh, uh, we are confident. Um, I've never been confident like this uh, going to play uh, a JDR uh, because we know we've got an upper hand in terms of uh, influence of what we want to achieve in terms of the results. We don't depend on anyone whereby we can, uh, we're putting a bet on people who are not involved. So we are involved directly. I can safely tell you now, uh, three points is in the back and uh, we won't score anything less than two goals in that particular match.